it's Jasmine and today I'm just gonna do a get ready with me for homecoming today is my homecoming and it is my last homecoming of the high school years I guess if you want to say um, I just got ready with myself and my friend Ariel she's right there hello yeah and um, I hope you guys really enjoy this it was really fun filming it was kind of a struggle but it's okay I had fun filming regardless so if you want to keep watching then stay tuned all right, so I'm gonna start off with my makeup. Um, I kind of wanted to use natural lighting, so I set my camera up in front of my vanity. Um, so this is what you're gonna see. This is the background. This is my room, so hey. Uh, I'm gonna start by moisturizing my face with the Embryo Lease Laboratories Cream. My mom bought this for me from Europe. Um, it's basically a nourishing moisturizer for all skin types. So I just prepped my skin with the Benefit Pore Professional and I'm about to do my foundation. So um, I'm going to take the CoverGirl 3-in-1 in 855 Soft Honey and I'm going to mix it with the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the color Cashew. And I'm a little darker than this but I'm a little lighter than this, that is why I'm mixing them. I also like the way that uh, these two combine because this is my everyday um, foundation. I so I didn't dampen my beauty blender that much. I just sprayed like a few pumps of Fix Plus on the butt of my beauty blender. But today I'm thinking of cream contouring and what I always mistake is that sometimes when I mess up my eyebrows, I go in with my natural concealer to conceal them and then I'll have like a line barrier between like my contour and then my actual concealer. So I'm actually gonna do my brows first. So I'm going to tell you guys a little story of what happened this morning. It was super funny. So um, I was just I just got out the shower and I was um, putting some stuff in the laundry and then my dad was like, oh, um, have fun at homecoming. And he was kind of just like, oh, like have fun, take a lot of pictures and you know, like stay safe, whatever. And I'm like, okay, like I will for sure. And then he adds, oh, um, who's taking you to homecoming? Like who's my date? And I'm kind of just there like, I haven't ever gotten asked out to a dance. And I don't know, I always tell my dad about like the guys at my school and stuff. And I don't know, like a lot of guys just don't really, I don't know, I feel like they don't really like me. I feel like I'm really intimidating and really spontaneous. So I don't know, maybe it's like my personality that scares them off. But somehow for some reason I never get asked out to a dance and I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like sad, but I'm kind of like passive about it at the same time, just because by now, like I'm kind of used to it, but then it's like that back feeling of like, I want it, like I really want it. But there's always prom, so hopefully. And by the way, I don't want to be like making you feel bad that I don't have a date. I just feel like it's my life. You know, and I'm just telling you guys what's happening. So for today, I kind of want to use the color Banana, Cinnamon, and Chocolate for my contouring. So I'm just going to do one drop. Okay. All right. That's cool. It's okay. Okay. Awesome. I only cream contour on special occasions. And this is a special occasion. So here we are. Okay, and here's a trick for what I like to do um, when I want to slim down the appearance of my nose. Um, I bring it in towards my bridge of the nose and I just cuff it around the sides of my nose. So as you can see, this side looks a lot fatter and this side looks a lot slimmer. So I go from my tear duct straight down and cuff. Like that. So 
So I'm basically just painting lines going into my face just so um, it focuses like this. Just like this. And then of course you just want to outline your cheekbones and take some more and yes. So now that we don't look as dead or washed out anymore, I'm gonna take the color chocolate in the contour kit and I'm gonna be using that on the parts of my face that I want to stand out the most. So I want my cheekbones to stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna put some here. I want some part of my temple to be standing out a little bit more. Well, not stand out because when you contour, you kinda wanna take away so, you know what I mean. And the same thing on the other side. All right. And then you're just gonna blend away. So I just sprayed a little bit of Fix Plus on my face and this is really just going to help make the cream contour and your foundation look a little bit more like skin. And yeah, so now we're just gonna move on to powder. So this is the Airspun Powder in Translucent and I'm just gonna take it in the cap and then with the e.l.f. pointed foundation brush, I'm just gonna apply this under my eyes. So now with the Real Techniques Multitask Brush, I'm just gonna take this very lightly and then powder my face. And so I'm gonna be working this eye around the Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. So I'm gonna start by taking my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush and I'm gonna take the color Soft Peach up here and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid. And this is just going to be a base for my other eyeshadows. All right. And so I'm gonna take um, my dome shadow brush and I'm gonna take the color Morocco and I'm going to put that all over my eyelids and just go a little bit higher to blend it. This part doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna be blending a whole bunch in this look. And now with the color Fudge, I'm going to take that on the same brush and I'm going to put that on the outer corners of my eyes. I'm going to blend my eyeshadow with a tapered blending brush. brush. And I'm just gonna keep on deepening my um, outer corner and I'm gonna take fudge again and just applying it. So right now, I mean, you can just go ahead without the metallic, but since I wanna do metallic, I'm gonna take the color metallic in this palette and it just so happens that it's a gold and that's what I'm using today. So I'm just applying this to two thirds of my eyelid and I'm just stopping where the fudge meets my Morocco color. So it should look a little something like that. And now I'm gonna take the Gilded Gold Dip it in the same brush and just apply this like crazy. My battery is dying and so I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Black Bean. I'm just going to take 
a e.l.f. professional eyeliner brush and I'm just going to smudge this out. So now I'm going to take the Real Techniques brow brush and I'm going to take the color Morocco and I'm just going to go over the black and it's just going to soften up the lines. And then I'm going to take the color Chic and I'm going to brighten up my inner corners. So for my top lashes, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. For lashes, I'm going to be using the stack lashes of Red Cherry 47 and 203s. And this is the same stacked combo as my prom lashes. Yes. So now I'm going to move on to my bottom lashes. And for this, I'm going to be doing a mix of the Maybelline The Falsies, the one with the wings on it. And this is waterproof. And then I'm going to be mixing it with the Maybelline Illegal Length. So since I powdered and creamed, I'm just going to take a little bit more of a bronzer. I'm going to take Laguna by NARS. And I'm just going to go over some spots just to make sure that I look like a bronze goddess. And... Yeah, it's really gonna help also set the cream just in case it wasn't set already with the powder. And it's just a very light coat. So this is my favorite discontinued blush. It's the Maybelline brush, 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 brush. So this is my favorite discontinued blush. It is the Maybelline blush in bronze tapestry. And I've been trying to find a dupe for it, but I just ended up uh, buying two different blushes and mixing them. and. I kind of get the same result, but just a tad bit darker. And it is matte format and, did I say matte? It's MAC format and MAC Trace Gold. And basically I just combine these two and it's, it's I will call it a day. I'll call it a day. Yes. And so I'm gonna take that with a domed powder brush. And I'm not gonna take that much of format, but I'm gonna load my brush up with Trace Gold. And I'm just gonna lightly apply it to my cheeks. So as of lately, I've been trying to strobe and it's kind of a work in progress, but what has best, what has worked best? Yeah, what has, <laughs> what has worked best for me is using the Benefit Sunbeam and it's just a little sample size. And then I've been using my everyday highlighter, the Naked Illuminated Highlighter in the color Luminous color. And basically this is a base and then this is just the top. So I'm just going to dot it on the high points of my cheeks, a little bit on the tip of my nose, bridge, above the arch of my eyebrows, Cupid's bow, chin. Just basically where I put my highlight shades. So you just want to take the highlighter and just go down your cheeks. See? And then just apply it where you applied your highlighter. So I'm just going to do a nude lip. I'm going to take the BH Cosmetic Waterproof Lip Liner in the color Nude and I'm going to mix it with Lolita. So I'm going to finish off with Fix Plus. And then hair face is done. I'm going to start moving on to the hair. So I'm going to start with my hair. Um, this is my friend Ariel and I just did her makeup. Uh, yes work it and um, so basically I'm just gonna start by straightening my hair and this is the infinity by Connor I've had this for so many years it has like a little dent in it 
And this is the only straightener that gets my hair like pinned straight, so I appreciate it. Okay, well I'm getting ready here then because everyone's already made plans. Cool. Made plans to where? To like, I want to go eat. Literally no one wants to go freaking eat. Like, oh, that's why they're going hella early. Do you want some coupons to Subway? You have a coupon to Subway? Yeah. Wait, They're on my desk right there kind of next coupons? to my naked palette. What kind of coupons? Like coupon coupons. Like I just I went today, like I told you. Because my mom gave me some coupons. I really dislike Subway though. That's the only thing. <laughs> really? Why? It's just so I don't I like the first time I really ever had it, I threw up. And like ever since then it's just like nasty. When was that? When I was like a set like seven. 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 How old are you? Sixteen? Yeah. So. I'm twenty-six. I uh have. -huh. I was gonna say something really inappropriate. But <laughs> <laughs> You're sixteen or twenty-six, depending on the day. You right. So right now, I just sectioned off the crown of my hair. I'm going to twist it and pin it away for now. And then, as of the rest of my hair, I'm going to bring it into a really high ponytail about here. I like this song. I want to eat, oh my gosh. I really want to get Chick-fil-A, but it's- No, it's Saturday, it's open. Huh? It's Saturday, it's open. I know, but it's just like, I'm gonna waste 30 minutes going there and 30 minutes coming back. Mm -hmm. It takes me hella long to get here. Okay, so now I'm going to tease the crown of my hair. And I'm not gonna do that much. I just need it for the volume because we're just gonna do a little pompadour. So we're just gonna take it, twist it, push it forward like that. Take two bobby pins and cross it. So now with the remaining hair, you're just gonna take it and twist it around the rubber band or the hair tie. Same thing. Ariel, I think you're on my other body pin. Am I? Yeah. Sorry on your boobs. No. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like I know I understand what you meant by cool. So now I'm just going to take the ends of my hair that I wrapped around. Pin it in place with a bobby pin. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some hairspray and I'm gonna spray my flyaways away. And then make sure it's just slicked back. No, I mean, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay, I said, Parsa, can you do me a huge favor? And he was like, what? And I was like, I'm not even ready yet, and I'm hella hungry. Can you be bring me food? Your date? Yeah. Bring him food, that's hella cute. No, asking him to bring me food. Oh. Hmm. Should, is that rude? Could you bring me a snack? Snack? Yeah. M make the snack like a hamburger. And then put a, put a, put a hamburger emoji? Yeah. <laughs> I literally need that. And then make sure the pompadour is a little even. It doesn't have to be totally even because no one's really gonna notice. And then you are done. And it should look a little something like this. I think I like this side better. <laughs> <laughs>
because it's who else hot. Alright you guys, so that wraps up this get ready with me video and I hope you guys really found it helpful for maybe your homecoming and found some a little bit of inspiration. Um, I just want to emphasize that you don't need a date to have a bomb homecoming. Um, I know that I didn't have a date, uh, I've never gotten asked out to a dance so you know, just have fun regardless, ha hang out with your friends, you know, do stuff, do you and you're going to stand on all those girls. <laughs> Irrelevant. 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 I R R E L E V A N T. They irrelevant. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment down below of what you want to see next. Like this video if you really liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scouts.